Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Katif Technologies. In this video, I'm going to talk about adding component names to assembly constraints inside of Inventor's assembly browser. So, I'm going to begin with the nightstand that you may have seen me working on before. And if I look inside my browser, you can see I have several constraints. And while I can see where they act by looking on my uh, drawing screen, there's a lot of constraints to go through right here. So in order to make this a little easier on myself, I'm going to go to the Tools pull-down, choose Application Options, and on the Assembly tab, choose the option to display component names after constraint names. Once I accept that, you can see that the components that a constraint is acting on are listed next to that constraint, making it much easier for me to see which constraint is the one I want to uh, work with. So now I can right-click and hit Edit, with having that quick visual feedback without having to move my eyes back and forth and I can change offsets and things and so on. So just like that with a few clicks I can give myself a little more flexibility on how I can use my assembly constraints. Thank you everyone.